okay. recording so that we have this recorded. People can actually use it to learn from. And we also have a PowerPoint presentation um, that will be in a video type clip thing and um, using that so people can also use that um, to uh, watch and learn from uh, so that you've got all the materials and the information in case you wanna take it and run with it. So if everybody yep, can take a moment and quickly for the next 10 seconds, take a moment, go and pitch to any groups that you're in or your own team. Just say we're underway with the um, training. If anybody wants to join us, come on in. Okay, and then and I'm at, gonna go ahead and get going on this. At any time, Leslie can pause it. If you've got a question, please don't hesitate. Ask away, that's what we're here for, okay? I'm gonna get ready to start. Well, hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one, but how can I go back? Hang on. Yeah, you're not, uh, that's not your first page. No, it's not. So I wanna get rid of this. Of course, my computer decided to stop sharing. It decided it didn't so this like is the actually that how you on. don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this? I don't have a water bottle yet. I am waiting. Ah, hopefully soon. Oh, that's fake wear. Keep it out of the screen, Mom. <laughs> All right. I did, without... I did get my lasagna <laughs> pen today, though. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> good, good, good. All right. So without any further ado, we are going to get underway and start with this. So this is Tupperware Bingo. And we're going to, we've been kind of working on this for what, about a month and a half yep. and trying it out in different kinds of scenarios and seeing what works best. So what we're going to do is kind of take it from the beginning. We'll stop along the way and chatter a bit about what has worked, what hasn't worked, what made us learn what works and what doesn't work um, and things like that. So in, in this case, we're going to start off with this page here. Tupperware Bingo is a great way to interact and engage on your VIP pages. It's a lot of fun, especially in a live party. We have found that it actually is well received in a live situation and Tupperware product education in a fun way. So it's a way for us to kind of get in some extra information without feeling like we're sitting there just lecturing or, you know, continually jabbering and not giving them anything fun and educational in the mix, right? Uh, it makes it interactive when, when you've got just these parties that are going from one post to another post to another post. It's a different way to do it. You drag it out for an hour, you put a little bingo game in there and it, it makes it more fun and it's more like you're actually having a real party. Yep. So we found, we did a lot of checking around to find out what other what um, um, programs were out there. Uh, MyFreeBingo.com, it's a bingo site that we've been using. It seems to be, it, it has such a clean, clean platform. <laughs> Um, it also has free aspects to it. So for us, whenever we do parties, I mean, I, I, ideally you have lots and lots of people attending, but when you get that live window, you don't always have a lot that are able to attend at the specific time. So we tend to record those live, especially if it's on Facebook. If it is a Zoom party, that one's very, a very specific type of party and we get a very different kind of audience for that. And they really like to be able to have that interactivity and people join with that in purpose. But this gives us some flexibility in different ways on our website to use it. We've never had to go past the 33 cards. One thing that you can remember, and we'll talk a little bit more about the cards a little later, but one thing to remember is that if you had to purchase cards, those cards are available. You buy 100 cards, they're available for 31 days for you to use and reuse and keep using. So if you had a party every day, or you wanted to hold some own, your own special events and stuff, whatever. Um, you've got bingo cards that you can use during that 31 day period. The other thing is when, um, like if I was to get them, my team could all use them for that yeah. next 31 day period. I just produced the link for them. If the parties happen to be at the same time, the it we haven't run that scenario yet, but it still means that I've got, if I decide to get it, I can actually offer it to all of my team to be able to use it so that we can kind of spread things out and have plenty of activities with the bingo stuff. So those are the, the prices there. You can go back to that later. It's a 31 day thing if you have to pay, but like I said, we've never had to purchase nope. um, yet. 
So we're, we're, we're in a good zone. Um, we may, if we actually take and do a training on TOTL, that may be a scenario where we need to, um, and then we would. We would get 100 cards, then while we're playing, if it looks like we need more, we could upgrade and grab another amount and just kind of keep going like that once the account is up and running. So it's great. Um, designing your cards. Easy, easy, easy to do. You make your own list. First step, the shorter the list, the better. Um, but there's a very much of a mathematical, we were talking about this, Jackie and I, right? This morning mm -hmm. or earlier today, trying to decide okay, how many shall we do? So our cards today are five by five. We'll show you more of that stuff in a little bit. So we had to figure out how many words were an appropriate amount of words. Because there's nothing worse than calling like five bingo callings in a row and nobody has one. Um, and that's telling you, you've got too many, you've got too long of a list and for the size of group that you have. So something that um, we will talk about again a little bit later on. Multiple winners, that's another one. We actually haven't had this yet, but the likelihood is there that you may have multiple winners, meaning two people calling out bingo at the same time. Be prepared ahead of time. So whatever you do, you just have to know before you go into any game, how you're gonna deal with it. So we've given you a few samples of how to deal with it. You have a number of prizes. Let's say you're just doing healers. Well, it's easy to give a couple of people a healer. Um, or you have one prize that might be able to be split. Maybe it's a tool bowl set and you can send one bowl to that person, one bowl to that person, up to you. Um, you can also go with who shouted it out first. Sometimes it's really obvious and that's the person who get it. But make sure that you've said that up front so that they know the first person who calls bingo gets to win. Um, or randomly drawing, let's say you had a fairly good sized party, you've got three people who call all at the same time. You can put their names on a wheel spin, very much like the one I've got in the, uh, in the image over here and spin their names out. Um, so those are ways to dealing with this. So I'm gonna let Jackie, if you wanna take a moment, um, do you wanna talk about this part or do you wanna get into when we start using the images? Oh, go ahead. Go on into the, okay. your images. So, basic. Yep. Uh, the basic oh, on sorry, how to start. Hold on, Leslie Bailey. I just have a question. Are you are supposed to be screen sharing right now or no? No. Oh, she is it not screen gone. sharing? Are you thinking no. it was? Yeah, I thought it was. No. It was, and then it went away, and then I didn't come back. Well, good. Thank you. <laughs> That's not helpful. We're gonna try this again. Oh, it's a great introduction though, Leslie. The everything that I just talked about or on the previous um, uh, deals that I've talked about. Okay, if I see okay. it, everybody else can. <laughs> so I, I'm wondering if, let me see if it actually throws it away when I go into um, starting the slideshow. Because maybe that's what happened. Was does it go back? Did oh, it stay good. on? It yep. says I'm basic still on. on yeah. Okay. So yep. let's see. So basics on how to start. Make your own list. So we use okay. Tupperware words. This is kind of part of the whole reason why we do what we are doing. Um, they uh, the shorter the um, list, meaning if you've got a five by five card, that means there are 25 words on the card or phrases, whatever, that you're going to have, minus the one in the middle if you choose to have a center thing. And Jackie, will go through that in a minute. Mm -hmm. So if you've got 25 things on there, you need at least 25 words, okay? But you also want a few extra because otherwise every single time somebody's gonna get something on there, you kind of want to randomize it. So every now and then you may not get, oh, bummer, I didn't get that one. Like, you know, you would get B4 called and it's like, I don't have B4. You don't want 90 items on your list because once you've done that, you might end up having way too many called where nobody's getting anything. So you want to kind of gear it to, if you've got 20, you're doing a five by five and you have maybe 40 people, then you might up that number only because you have a better chance of too many people calling bingo at the same time. So you wanna randomize it. You wanna kind of get used to adjusting. If anybody ever is trying to do it and set, wants to send a message to Jackie or I and says, listen, we're doing a five by five. I've got you know 16 yeah. people coming. 
what can I, what, what's the best number to do it for? We can give right. you some suggestions on what to do on that. Um, words such as breakfast maker, pasta maker, um, chop and prep, those kinds of things. Great words, great phrases. Um, I do want to point out microwave pressure cooker is rather long. And what happens is the, the longer the word or the phrase, the smaller the text is for that. So if you're getting into an audience with uh, visual or maybe they're on small phones, they're gonna have to zoom in to be able to see what those little words are. And so you wanna try and make sure that whatever you're choosing, you're selecting things that are visually okay for the people you're dealing with. If you're dealing with an older audience who really don't have that technology and ability to see the small, stick to the smaller words, stick to something smaller so they stay larger. Um, I, know your audience, absolutely yeah. know your audience. Yeah, and I automatically try and stay away from the small words because I can't see them with beans. Um, <laughs> so just with that, Leslie, because you had talked about the setup of the of the cards themselves, there's different backgrounds that you can choose. And again, know your audience. Oh, we're there because... next. Jackie, oh, we're okay. there next. I'll be quiet then. There you go. Now you can go. Voila. So this is actually the forms for setting up and going in to uh, start a, a, your bingo cards. So when you go into the screen, you're going to click on the very first part there, which is bingo card generator. And then once you've clicked that, it takes you into your next screen. And this is where you do all of their setup. So title it, whatever you want. If you want to call it like your, the name of the party group that you're doing, Cindy's Tupperware party, whatever the, you want to call it, you put it in there and then enter all of your words. And as Leslie said, if you've, you know you've got 25 spaces that you want to use. I would put at least 30 words in there. Otherwise, you're going to have quite a few people calling bingo all at the same time if those are the only words that you've got in there. So that space, it will expand. It will let you put as many words in as you like. In number three, you're going into, and these are the selections for your background. So Leslie and I, through trial and error, have used different backgrounds. They have the backgrounds that are good for any sort of special occasion like Halloween. Um, they have one for that, they have one for Christmas, so you can absolutely garnish it that way. Um, or you can just choose one of their regular backgrounds, but again, watch how the words look and it might be blurred that all of a sudden you've got people with bad eyesight that can't actually read what the words are saying. So. We have found that the modern one we like, it's very clean and very simple, uh, but everybody can actually read it. So that goes in is with it the stars and stripes. Is it vintage nope. that was so soft? Vintage was soft, yes. Thanksgiving was just sort of orange decorations around it. Um, you really have to play around with them and, and again, know your audience that you've got, but we like modern. So that's the one that we've chosen for today. I just have a question, then, if you don't mind. Sure, yeah, sure. Does does that like do you create an account and it saves your previous bingo cards, or no. do you do this every time? Every time. Okay. Thank so you. So what right. we do is we have on a note format we have all of the words and we just grab what we want. That's that's great. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay. So the, if the next part is going into setting up your grid, and you can do it as simple as a three by three. We did it with a regular standard bingo card, which is the five by five. And that's what we've chosen for the setup for today. And then I just randomly put the letters in one at a time. So you just can see how they would spread out across the bingo card. As you're typing, it actually puts it into one of those squares. So you can see it as it's going across and then you can have the choice of cl clicking on your um, grid sides changes it. And then you can go into the extras and do a center square. So the extras at the bottom. Correct. Extra options. The one of the options is free space. Yes, right where it's the blue or the red underneath the grid. Okay. And moving on into the next one. And then this is where you know, or you figure out, okay, how many people are actually attending today? Do I have enough with just doing the 30 cards for free? And like Leslie was saying, going into the other options, keeping in mind that any of the costs on here are in US funds, but is not Canadian. 
So I'm no, not this sure. This is also many... a place you'll see there's a warning there. And in this case, she didn't use words, she used letters. So it's actually giving us a heads up. You've got duplicates. This is the time to go back and get rid of the duplicates. So let's say you had base twice by accident in your word list. It would actually tell you, you have the word base. There's an area, or an error. You have the word base twice in your list. You can go back and delete one of the episodes. So it, it tries to make sure that you will have no errors in your game of getting two different things. Now at this point, the cards, let's say you pay for the 100 cards. Next time you go in, a, like three months from now, I don't believe it's a locked account that you will always have at this point. I think it's a standalone for this particular case. By the sounds of what, again, this, this part of it will be new to us until we actually do it. Um, but having followed mm -hmm. and looked at um, the video lessons and information, um, you will have a specific code to be able to access and do stuff with the card that you've purchased for this 31 day period. Does and that as sense? Leslie, I think and nobody's come back with a question. It's good. Okay. So as Leslie said, like you can, you can go and uh, do the number of cards depending on how many people that you have. Um, and that obviously is where you enter it from this screen here, but you can see how it has spread out all of the letters from what it had on the previous screen. Is that a question? No, okay. No, we're good, Leslie. Okay. So once you've um, made your decision on which one, it's then gonna go in and give you the link and that link is what you would share to everybody who is participating so that they have that link to go into. Which um, you will for see the game shortly. And for the cards. Yep. Um, so one of the good things that we've really actually liked about this um, uh, platform is that they have actually done a brilliant job of, keeping, of producing videos that really support the product, teach you how to use the product. We're kind of lightly going over some of this and letting you see some of the basics of how easy it is, but it's really, really quite simple. And, um, but sometimes watching a more in-depth video with the people who design it can sometimes help ease your mind and walk you through doing it a little bit quicker. But they have an amazing amount. Some of the, the better ones, how to play virtual bingo, how to call a bingo game, plan for multiple bingo winners, how to reset, reallocate, or resend bingo cards. So sometimes you might be doing a thing where you're mailing out an allocated card to somebody. So let's say you have 100 cards You've got a 75 people coming to your party. Whether or not they can be live at any live portion, you can still choose to find a way to make the game happen. We have not done this yet, but you can allocate games and cards and send out the callings um, in, in a whole different format than you normally would so that people can get the callings via text message or whatever. Um, so there's different ways to play it. Yeah, Bailey, you have a question? Yeah, I don't know if you went over it. I may have missed this. How do you actually get the bingo card to the people, sorry? It's a link. So at, at this okay. stage here, when you're picking which one, whether you're doing the 30 free cards, uh, which is probably what we'll end up doing for tonight uh, based mm -hmm. on the number of people we've got attending, whichever one that you, you pick that you choose. Um, oh, thank you, I get a cup of tea, how special. Um, depending on which one you choose, it then sends you a link. And that link is what you would post to know it. I will put it in the chat section once I've generated the link, then everybody can go on and, and get, pull that link. So this is not something that you could per se, like it doesn't, you couldn't take a picture of a bingo card and give the one bingo card to a couple people. It's more so there's one link, everyone clicks that link and each- And click every, every, every time you card. click that link, mm -hmm. it's a unique card. It's okay. a unique card. Okay. So okay. if you have everybody having the exact same card, everybody's gonna call a bingo at the same time. Right. I just, I didn't know because I know that when we do it, well, we did it a couple, I think last year, we had the actual bingo cards in our hand and, okay. and we just took pictures. And if for some reason we only had 20 cards, but 25 people, some people might get the same card. So I just right. didn't know if we could do that with this here, but I guess it, it really cuts you off at the certain so number, right? On the screen where I'm doing the setup, I don't see the cards at all. 
Oh, so okay. the, the link okay. is generated. You guys go into the link and it, and it sets up the cards for you that way. Okay. When, when you are the person calling the bingo, you don't actually see any of the cards. Okay. You just have buttons okay. that you press for the next word, the next word. And then once somebody has called bingo, I can actually go in there. Has, it will have a, a number attached to each of the cards. And I can oh. go in and confirm that that card does, in fact, have a bingo. It will show you what you've okay. ticked off yeah. or what you should in case you've missed something. It'll show you. Or if you've extra ticked, okay. it will say, nope, she's ticked too many things. And it will fix okay. it. Okay. okay. See, and the, the other thing to know as well for, for anybody who's doing this, you pick the 30 cards for free. It allows you to actually play three games on those cards. So you will have a button that allows you to reset your card. You can go back in reset it, it clears everything off and you play again. It, I, I think it keeps you the same card, but it allows you to continue but it clears to play it. again. It lets you so, empty it out and replay again with yeah. new numbers called this time or new words called this time in this case. Yeah. So this is just to give you an idea of what their YouTube page, because they've got a great YouTube page. My free, uh, free bingo cards um, is what you would look up in YouTube. Um, I would highly suggest if you're using this or decide to that you subscribe. Um, they've recently, because of all of the stuff with COVID this last year, they've been great at updating their pro the, the, the program, the whole thing, and um, actually making great, um, some things that were not working the way we would like to now working beautifully and making it so much easier. So they've updated a few of the different videos so you'll see at the bottom, you'll see things that say how to play virtual bingo. There is a new video available. If you go up on the top row, you'll see the same title, but this one is the new one and it was done within the last so many months. Um, so okay, it's great because they've been updating. Yes. Uh, there's just a question that, that's come up here from, I think it's Lori's question. Sure. Uh, do you have to play this on Zoom or can you run it in a live room on Facebook? Absolutely you can. If you've got want to set up a, like a, a, a meeting room, whatever they call it on Facebook, go ahead. You, you don't necessarily need two computers, but you'd have to be able to do split screen. I've stolen my husband's computer so that I do have the two computers because what happens on an iPad when you have the split screen is my face would freeze. I'm not necessarily freeze in a, in a great picture. A virtual but, um, it, they can't. You can't see anybody, right? No, but I can hear you. I thought I muted so, her. Oh, okay. So it would have a split screen, um, but it's going to freeze you. If, if, it, if you're on an iPad, it's going to freeze you on the one side. So I always like to have the second computer so that I can still say, stay live and watch everybody and know that a bingo is called and then play the bingo game on the other computer. So I hope we that have answers actually your question. Played this we have actually played this in a room on Facebook room. Yep. We have yep. not been able to um, work through figuring out how to play this in a standard Facebook live video because of complications. Now, part of those complications is that um, when we are talking, there is a delay. So when we call before, we have no idea at what point we can call the next one. And if somebody has called bingo and they write it into us, there is quite a bit of a delay between comments getting back to us and our having called things. So because of that, it may go smoother than we think it can, but because of that, we've not done it yet because it feels very awkward um, and less comfortable for us. That does not mean that it's not possible. Um, and it doesn't mean that we won't figure it out and give it a try. No, we won't try figure. We, we'll work. always, we're always gung ho on working through and and, and breaking through the you know, <laughs> barriers and the walls. But we haven't gotten yeah. to there. We've we've really perfected Zoom. It works stunningly, um, especially in a, a Zoom party. It works really well, not perfect, but really well in a room, a Facebook room. So we've done it as part of our game night on my mm -hmm. VIP page. And Jackie's will be coming up soon and we want to expand so that it's an opportunity for just a fun way to kind of get our, our, our pages alive again. Um, yeah. Give reasons for people to kind of check in either a special night or whatever else. Um, you yeah. could do it as well as like a, a team building 
one and you do it just with your team and have a, a fun bingo night just for something to do and, and perhaps uh, give out prizes or, or whatever the case may be, but with your team. And it, it just, it's a lot, it's, it can be a lot of fun and it's very interactive. And uh, the, the other thing I would suggest, um, can it be done on your own? Absolutely. And I know Leslie will go into that, but for me, Leslie is very comfortable in front of a camera. Um, I myself, not so much. So trying to, to come up with ways, if you've got somebody who is a little bit leery of it, team up with them because it works better. We think it works better with two uh, than doing it on your own. Now that's the way we've figured it out, but it, it all of a sudden gave me a comfort level uh, with the camera. And it, it wasn't a case of being scared of the camera. It was, it was would it show my disabilities or not? Um, and, and apparently I, I, I'm okay. But uh, it gives one of your team members a chance to perhaps come out of their shell and, and expand a little. Um, but the one thing I will warn you on is once they do get that level, it can turn around and be that they take over the bingo game bingo game in the entire party. And that has happened with Leslie and I. I, I admit, um, I all of a sudden got too excited and carried away and just ran with it. And, and, uh, and yeah, well, I, I did apologize, but uh, it can happen. <laughs> Very much can happen. But it was a glorious thing because she was able to get <laughs> past the point of the fears and the discomforts of being on camera. And for a few of our, our other team members, we know that there's a few that are very unsure of being on. But to hold up, and oh, it's not a spoon, but to hold something up and say, I have, uh, this is, you know, a Tupperware simple spoon and it's dishwasher safe and it's wonderful for these two purposes or something. Keep it simple, keep it straightforward. So we're going to get more into that in a second, but it really is a simple way for somebody who is really camera shy, can't do presentations, not comfortable with the camera to break in, in little mini formats. They don't have to run the whole bingo. They will be, you know, if there's two or three of us on in an evening and I'm bringing somebody, a, a, like a third person in for a, a night of learning uh, for them, I might say when this, any of these four things are called, which, whichever one of those, those that's, you know, we'll call and say, you know, like, Sarah, it's your turn. And let that person um, have a shot at describing what that product is. So you'll understand more as we play the game, what that's all about. Um, let's get back into describing of the products, which is what I was just talking about. When you're looking at your list and you're creating lists, one of the things that you wanna do is be able to make sure that you have some of those products on hand. Um, and when more of us are playing or running it, it means there are two of us that can divvy up how many products we have. Now, will we show every single product? Absolutely not. I might hold it up if a knife is called, but I may not talk about the knife because that's the one thing that you don't want to do is put your um, audience to sleep or risk having them saying, <laughs> I'm, um, um, I think I got to go um, and, and want to leave. You want to make sure that it keeps rolling and keeps kind of moving on um, and, at, and stays fun, but yet every now and then getting some tidbits of information. So. We may have a list of 30 things. We might between us have 28 of those items, but we will probably only talk about five. Does that make sense? So, and you never know what order they're gonna be called. So what we have discovered, don't, don't do every one in a row. Don't do three or four in a row and then leave a big blank space and forget where you're going. You're better off doing one description or doing one without a description, maybe doing one with a description, then skipping three, maybe four, and then doing another one. And you can make them a little bit longer descriptions if you're skipping more space because you've got a little bit more time that you've saved. So an MPG, you might wanna be able to talk a little bit more about, um, whereas a spoon can be short and condensed and you've got four other things that you've skipped over. You've just said what they are and moved on to the next calling. So- This could also, sorry, Leslie, this could also yeah. be that you've, you've, you've talked to your host and your host has said, I, I'm interested in this, 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 and this. So add those into your game. And those would be ones that you'd end up talking about because of course you're trying to work in a sale for this. So absolutely give her the, uh, give him or her the, the ones that they are interested in and expand on those. And I don't know I if you guys can see me or not. Can you see me? Yep. 
So you your cold um, brew. in this case, my cold brew, I can be talking about my cold brew and how this and with my tea and this is that yesterday and now this is ready to go and it'll last me a week because I tend to water mine down a lot. Um, and, you know, really talk about and, and the coffee and all of those things. Or I'd have a chop and prep with nuts or garlic already in it. And that might be what I hold up and say, you know, we've got garlic in it. And while they're finding their number, they're kind of listening. Then they get engaged for a minute because I keep it nice and short. It's not like the longer version that I would do. It's like a compact 30 seconds. I throw the lid back on with the thing, pop off the thing and say, see, look at how chopped up the garlic is. And in no time at all. Okay, so Jackie, on to the next number. My, before we continue, my, my point with this one is you could also put in um, items that are sort of for sale in the brochure, but make sure that you take those words out if those are products that are going back in the vault or whatever for the next brochure, because you wouldn't want to call something. Yes, you might have it and show it, but it's something that's not going to be available for anybody to purchase until it comes out and comes around again. Next year. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> However, However, looking at our list. Part However, of whatever, yes. with, with that being said, you could show something that you know is coming available for example like the hamburger press if you call a right. hamburger press and you show everybody and everyone gets all amped up about the hamburger press oh sorry guys it isn't available now i'll let you know when it is and boom in two weeks you have 10 people that you've now... got 10 people who want it exactly. and that's an interesting point so for some yeah, of us absolutely i'm the i'm the old one in our team okay i'm the old one in the <laughs> team from me down i'm the old one in the sense i started well, technically, whatever, the last week of December. I'm a newbie, but I'm the oldest one. So not a lot of us have a whole lot of stuff. No. And so if we, we look at that and we talked about that next year, we'll be in a better position to be able to preempt a lot of things because we will have had the opportunity to gather and gain and, and find things. Right now, we have to pick and choose what we've got or talk lightly about it or maybe show a picture of something if we want but we're, we're unfortunately sometimes stuck um, for what we're allowed to call or but what we that, can describe. That's where we start bantering and, and sort of try to crack a joke or something of who has it, who, who doesn't and lighten it when we don't. Yeah, so we talked about this one, teamwork. So for us on my yeah. team, we're really trying to encourage the teamwork thing. Parties are scary for people that are new. Many people have done it for years or for six months or whatever, and it's old hat. But when you're brand new and you're coming in um, and maybe you don't have theater experience or you don't have camera experience, it's intimidating and scary. So what we've really tried to do is with parties is kind of do the jumping in and doing it together. So even though I'm okay with doing my parties, it's actually much less stressful for me because I know Jackie and I tend to do parties together. She does the, the comments and does all of the stuff when I'm live for an hour. She responds to things. And then in the gaming stuff, when we're in a, like in this kind of a thing, I've done an hour and a half Zoom meeting. Halfway through, we're going to do this game. This is my break. I get to sit in and I get to talk about a few products, but I'm basically sitting and listening. And Jackie's running... or a Zoom my mother because they do the demonstrations for me and I can do my format of sitting here and talking and then in the reversal oh hello Annette um, and doing it in the reversal so I'm still doing my party it's my party and I am still hosting but it helps me out because there's no way I can do the actual demos and still stay standing on my feet yeah so we're finding so we absolutely that teamwork yeah it's the best way for our team to go. And especially because I have so many who have, been, have basically said up front that they would like to, uh, the idea of partying, but the camera is not for them. 
the on and off cameras, none of that. And so if I'm bouncing in and out um, and helping them in any kind of a format, and if I can't do it because I have health issues, Jackie is there to cover. And if Jackie's not there, I'm there to cover. And between all of us, as we build our team's skills and availabilities, it means we can all help each other support. But in this game, it actually pays off um, because it just means we're supporting each other in a fun way and being able to, um, yeah. So links, I've got the three links for all of the things for this, including the wheel spin. We use the wheel, the wheel of names a lot. You just fill in the names of whatever it is or the prizes or whatever you're going to do. Click the button to spin it and it spins and tells you who won. You could, you could like the first person to sign on to, to listen and start to play, you can put everybody's names in, spin it and you get a winner that yeah. way as well. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the prizes of, of the bingo. You know who's got one bingo by who put their hand up or whatever or called out bingo, but then you can put all your prizes that you want to give away in the wheel and spin it for them. So it's another little bit of interactive fun rather than just saying, here, this is what you won. So here's a list that we pull from. This is our big list. It's just a sample list, stuff comes <laughs> off, things go, go on all the time. You can see flat outs. We're not doing flat outs right now, so we wouldn't use it in a current month necessarily, but it has been on in, in different lists. So we've got, that's our sample list that we've got going to give people an idea of the kind of words. Microwave pressure cooker, um, ooh, Tupper Kids feeding set has got too many peas in it. Um, but those two are what we would consider fairly long and possible breakers for not fitting well into the screen. So you'd have to decide again, who your audience is for that. And I think that's the end of that. So, okay. So on um, chat, I have sent the link to put it on there for the bingo. So please go into chats and you'll see the link there. You know how to find chat, everybody. Mama will be at the top of your screen. Just tap the top of your screen. And mine was at the bottom. You right. hit more where the little dots are if you're on an apple and then hit chat. No, and if you're on a play. computer, mine is at <laughs> more uh, or in the center of the bottom. So does everybody see the link? Is anybody not seeing the link? Beth, are you okay? Yeah, I've got it, thanks. Thank you. All right. Okay, so this, this, um, this round, what I wanna do is, um, I'm actually gonna play along with. Um, so you can see in the free space in the middle. Huh. You can't, you're not okay. allowed I'm not gonna, to win. I'm not gonna win. Um, so you can see in the middle, I wanted a card so I could actually tell them what was going on. So in the middle, you'll see the free space. Up on the top right-hand corner, I'm assuming all of our screens look the same, you'll see bingo card ID number 20, 028 is mine. So everybody will have a very, a, a different ID number. So when Mom, she did, asked- Did you find your card? Okay, Gl click on your screen up at the top. Click where it's got the three dots that says more and click on chat. And in chat, you will see a link. So it's got myfreebingocards.com, bingo, blah, 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 blah. That's the link you need to click. You promised you wouldn't say blah, 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 blah. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, no. Well, lucky you, you didn't get the lady face in my doing my character, so. Everybody so has have a every card? Marion. Are we good now? Everybody's got their card? Okay. Okay. So, so if on you my click, screen. So click on free space, everybody. You click on free space, you should see an X. You've now got your first mark. And nobody's ahead, calling bingo yet. I didn't get to call nothing. I never get to play. Nobody lets me play. Okay, on my screen, I hit a button that says call game. Then you've got down the bottom, you just 
it, can anybody see? Probably not. No, that doesn't work. Never mind. I'll Actually, take it was that was visible. That's okay. I'll take screenshots for you. And then you hit start game. So word number one is chop and prep. Chop and prep. And Leslie we has it in her hand. A chop Perfect. and prep. I don't have anything in it. At this point, what we would be doing is doing a quick sample of this. If I had had some nuts and had my wherewithal, um, I would put some nuts in here or garlic or something, put it in and say, talk about how easy and simple. I have neuropathy. This is really hard um, to, to do with a knife and chopping up everything, but this has made it so simple for me. And we could talk about um, price with the sale going on right now and dwell into it if you wanted to. But in this case, this is the time that you keep them as short and sweet as possible because you don't want everybody to run scared. Go for it. Knives. MPG ring. Spiralizer. I know Leslie's looking around for the big one. There's also the small hand one. Small world of warning. This does work as well. If you've got issues with your hands, go for the big one because this one you'll end up with sore wrists after a while. I don't recommend it for anybody that's got issues with their hands or if, if you're chopping up all kinds of uh, spiralizing a whole bunch of um, vegetable pastas, what have you, that you've got big stops of zucchini or whatever you want to take the bigger one because this one you'll end up too sore and you'll hate me for suggesting it to you. Wonderlier, the bowl that started it all. As Leslie's frantically looking for where she put hers. Woo -hoo! That is all one. Mini salt and pepper shaker. Oh, I bet that's me. They are still the party part for this right now. You get one of these for booking a party. MPG. So the MPG is revolutionary. It has three patents on it. It is phenomenal for everything under the sun. You can grill with it. You can bake with it. Um, you saw me earlier in the party doing my smoked meat sandwich. And later on, you will also see me doing some cinnamon rolls in it. We live with our MPG. This is a fabulous product. Gets used at least one to five times a day. It is one of the higher priced items at $249. So if you're thinking you'd like to get an MPG, don't forget there's four ways you can buy products with Tupperware. And we will get into that later. But you know what? One of them is for half price and one of them is for free. Cheese Smart. I have one. It's somewhere. I couldn't find it. Moving on. Greater. Yeah, I know you've got one of those. We sat one day, my girlfriend showed up at my house with this great big, huge block from Costco of Parmesan. We had it shredded in less than 10 minutes and she just sat there going, oh my God, that is so easy. Amazing shredder, best one I ever, ever used. This is also one that I usually do in a party. So I'm, I wouldn't actually do a demo per se on it, but I would actually reshow it um, and yeah. Yeah, because then you put the cheese on the smoked meat and nobody can eat it, but we can't even smell <laughs> it. Pressure cooker. Now, we don't have one. My mother's got one. And on Sunday when I'm doing my party, just I'll step away from the actual party thing here. Um, my mom is, is, has graciously agreed. She didn't really have a choice. But anyway, she graciously agreed to do a, a demo for me on Sunday in my party and she's gonna be making some macaroni and cheese, New Brunswick style. Freezer mate. Leslie's getting one there, but there's all kinds of different sizes. Certainly keeps your freezers, uh, your meats and everything safe in your freezer. No crystals, no more freezer burn, no more waste of money of throwing out frozen food. Universal peelers, my favorite. Gotta be my yours, favorite right? item. I've got some, yeah. 
cute somewhere. I have one. Best pe best peeler I've ever used. Fridge smart. Oh, Leslie's looking. I know she's got one. There it is. One of many sizes. I've lost my bingo card. <laughs> oh no. Way to go, Lori. <laughs> Try your back button. I'm tech challenged. Go back and just go back in and, and uh, click on the link. Go back to the thing and click on the link. Try and pull up a new one. Or try a backspace. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Lori, are you okay? Keep going? Yes, keep going. If you call a... a uh can opener I'll bingo in my head do you remember your card number okay like seriously <laughs> try your back button Lori try your back button I'm on an apple I don't see back okay so you might want to practice doing bingo for your parties before you, you... <laughs> oh, oh okay, yes so next, next word is scoop and drain wonderful little tool Peas, perfect. Paddle. Now, you may not know exactly what a paddle is, but hey, it might be a gift that you get from your Tupperware consultant for winning a prize. But these have been around for years. My mother used to have one that was clear, and I bet you she still does. Pasta maker. Yeah, it's on the wrong. Oh no, I don't know where it's it is. Now, my kids. It's now become my husband's favorite Tupperware seals. If you know anything about Tupperware, you know that the seals are perfect and modeled. The idea for them came from uh, the lid of a paint can. So th there's your tidbit of information for the evening. Cold brew cafe. Yes, Leslie, I know you have one. <laughs> yeah. Metal whisk. Bingo. Woohoo! Okay, so what's your card number? 20. Number 20. 020, new card. Okay, so pull it up and confirm it with the. Waha! Yes, we do have a straight line across bingo. Congratulations. Whoa, congratulations. Way to Thank go. You. Done. You have won 10 welcome cards from the TOTL store. So, whoopsies, I don't have access to your address. So, if you can send it to me, I will pop it in the mail for you um, by the weekend. Thank you. you. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. That's amazing. All right. That's so, awesome. everybody want to play another round? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, reset. Yeah, don't, so don't, yeah, don't shut your cards. Okay. No, you should have a reset button up there that you can press to reset your card. Lori, go back into the link and start your card again. Are you with us? Lori? Yes, yes, yes. That a girl. You Just scare me, lady. Just a second. <laughs> reset. Okay. <laughs> I got it. All I see is my mom's thing going across. Are you okay, mom? Yes, no? <laughs> okay, okay. Did okay. you click on the link? Can anybody read I this? I asked her to unmute, but she's not unmuting. Unmute your screen, mom. Okay. So, have you got Are your you card? Okay? No, I couldn't get it. It came up. It says, if this is your card, click one. I clicked one and I have nothing. It was, I had a card, but I couldn't do anything with the card. It was just a sample card. So oh, you're playing the same game Lori is then. <laughs> That's okay, Mom. Click on the link again and try to go back into it. Then it might regenerate you a new card. So I go to the top. You think yep. you're... Okay. Yep. Click on the top. Click on the three the dots with more and then click on chat. Yep. And then in that chat room, scroll till you see the screen, the, the, the link. 
It says my yep. free bingo cards. Click on that link and it should take you right. to a card. It'll take you yep. to a page that says virtual link. Click on the virtual link. Yep. And it'll open up the card that was designed. Okay, there's a card there. Yep, that's the one you're playing with. So hit the middle, hit the middle spot with uh, just tap it or whatever, and free space. Put an X on it. Okay, got it. There we go, okay. and here we go. We're up and running. I won! I won! No, that's not a bingo. Oh, Leslie, please mute her again. <laughs> okay, here we go. Starting the game. Universal peelers. Leslie showed one of those before. Again, my favorite, favorite peeler I've ever used. Wonderlier. The bowl that started it all. Fridge Smart. Can opener. There you go. Chop and prep. I really did put other words in here. I really did. Well, this one we could have actually talked about, but that's okay. <laughs> Spatula. Doesn't really say which one, but we know we have them. I have the white, I have the white one or the large one. This one? Yeah, that one I have. Well, there is two different kinds, as you know. I have them both somewhere. Here it is. So you can see the two size differences. Okay. Great for lifting pancakes, fried eggs. Perfect. MPG ring. Freezer mate. Yes, that's correct. Seals. Pasta maker. Stat cooker. There's a new one. Stat cooker. I am ah, a stat cooker. I made for the very first time in my life, I baked a cake and I baked it in my stack cooker. Now it was a boxed cake, tasted like poop, but I was so proud, looked great. <laughs> I baked a cake. I'm so proud. So, and I've done in the lower layer, I've done rice. The next layer I did chicken. And the next layer on top of that, veggies, yep. and was able to cook them all at the same time. And it was, it turned out great. Like it was so easy, so simple to do. Um, I have not actually baked a cake yet. At I did, I did. I will. I know you did. You got the, <laughs> you got the first, we're sharing experimenting <laughs> first. Modular mates. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry, go ahead. Bailey, go ahead. No, I was just going to say about the stack cooker. It's my favorite product to make mashed potatoes in simply because no. I don't have to, you don't have to cook it in the water. You put a tiny bit of water into it with your cut up potatoes and it steams them essentially. So I don't have to drain them. I don't have to do oh, anything. Nice. I take it out of the microwave after 10 minutes. I do the mashing. Boom. The creamiest potatoes I've ever had. And I am I know good mash. Potatoes, my my okay? son is a potato connoisseur, so that's I'm gonna have to do yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to give that one a try. My my issue I found with the stack cooker and putting three different things in it to to cook. My I have one of the brand new uh, versions of a microwave, and it doesn't fit. So my microwave is a little bit thinner. It's not quite as deep. So it will take two, but it will not take three. Modular mate. Let go for women. So at this point, Modular I'm not going to actually do it because I don't have space in front of me to do this. But yep. um, at this point, I do usually go through my little spiel of the one, two, three, four, fives, and two ones equal a two, and a two and a one equal a three, and on and on and on. So I make it a short, quick video and stuff. I just don't have the space this time because of the um, PowerPoint. I have my computer taking over the space. But this would be normally when I would actually talk about the convenience and the simplicity and and how much fun it is just to kind of try and figure out how to create something that will fit in the space perfectly and make it so organized and happy. Tongs. You don't have these, they are fantastic. They come apart very easily, go back together easily, but I'm gonna give you a warning. If you have more than one pair, only use and wash one pair at a time 
because if you put the wrong piece with the wrong piece, you end up with really funky looking tongs. And seriously, I, I, I messaged Leslie when I got them, I went, something's wrong with my tongs. I had one that was like this wide and one like this that wouldn't open. It was like, and it was because the wrong piece was with the wrong piece. So that is my warning for you. Cold Brew Cafe. Fresh and pure. Oh, she's looking, she's looking. There they are. Amazing ice maker. Ice maker, I but like also the, great for um, baby uh, food. I use it, baby food, but I use it for chicken broth, leftover chicken broth to make cubes. I also do it for, uh, you can actually do it with cookie dough and make little plops of cookie dough that are ready to go for cooking. Um, but I do it Garlic. especially at the end of season your herbs, like when you're trying yep. to save herbs and stuff, fresh herbs and putting them in with some um, olive oil and freezing them in cubes for cooking. So you've got either garlic or if you want thyme or rosemary or basil or something, chop it all up, add a titch of some olive oil, freeze them up into small cubes. And then you've got them for quick grab of cooking for perfect herbs um, that are fresh. I like that it has frozen. a lid. So it keeps any of your freezer smells from getting absorbed into your ice and I like the little silicone on the bottom that helps push the ice cubes out amazing moving yeah, on to the and next. the other feature is that oh, if sorry. you're filling it with water if you're filling it with water you can fill it to the fill line um, with the lid open here and then when you actually lay it flat it actually disperses out amongst all of the different things um, evenly are you for real Pardon? I didn't know you could do that yeah, I've what? been doing yeah. this for two years, and there's I there's a fill line on it right there. This. See, you learn something new, oh, and I, how I guarantee exciting. you, Madam you Director, past, come on. Hey, I can't. If you go past everything, okay. If you go past that fill line, I guarantee you, it fills up everything, but you end up with ice cubes. And when you're trying to do a demonstration, and you have your eco water bottle, and you're trying to put an ice cube in it. It doesn't fit because it's now too big because it's gone frozen all the way over. And I really looked absolutely ridiculous doing this. <laughs> so make sure you just fill it to the fill line. Breakfast maker. No. I'm not gonna actually talk about it because it's too close <laughs> to one that we just talked about, but it, it we do have the breakfast maker in. Yeah, they are they are good there. Read your instructions though, I'm gonna point that out. Metal whisk. We have had that one. I don't know if we actually showed it. So there you are, metal whisk. Great for gravies, sauces, perfect. Sharpener. Bingo. Oh, I do. Ooh, got bingo. And I do Beth. have one, I don't. Beth, Beth got bingo. Hang on, I'm trying to find where it is. Yes, there's Beth. Okay, so Beth, what bottom. is? Beth, what is your um, number on the top of your card? Zero one seven. And zero one seven is a bingo right across the middle. Congratulations, Beth. So you Thank won you. a serious Tupperware Hustle notebook. Now, again, awesome. I don't have access to your address. So if you can send me that in a PM, I will pop this into the mail for you by the weekend. That's okay? amazing. Okay. Yay. Thank you so much. You're so Congratulations. Playing, playing a couple of rounds of this, has this prompted some questions that you guys might have? Anybody? I think one thing that you'll notice that the second time around, we were hitting a lot of the products that we had hit in the first. So you have to almost hold back. If you know you're going to play at least two rounds, hold back. Even if you, like, it's really hard sometimes. You're kind of going, oh, but yeah, but I just talked two times ago. So I need to wait another time. Hold back because chances are in the next round, you'll hit that same name and you'll have the perfect opportunity to describe whatever your yeah. favorite is. So you don't overload the audience. That's the one biggest thing. Um, and it can happen, chatter. you get you get carried away. It's so easy to get carried away. And so, well, okay, it was for me. So I'm just assuming that it's gonna be for everybody else, but you you all of a sudden get going and you you get so excited about what you wanna show that every single word comes up. And, oh, I got that, I got that, it's over here. But yeah, you don't wanna lose your audience. So 
did any did this help did this give insight to people on just another kind of an option a fun way something you can if you guys have questions anywhere along the way or you want to try and hold it and you want us to come in and help do it with you yep we're happy absolutely to. yep um yep, absolutely like, we'd be happy to play and, and do that for anybody who wants to have us kind of help them do it along like and or you know guide you through we tend to okay so here's a suggestion we tend to have a couple of practice pages um even this last week when i brought uh was going to bring one of my hosts in on a live um we went in to practice doing the bringing somebody on board instead of doing it live and losing people in i know for me when we go into any kind of a demonstration or any kind of an anything if the sound is bad or if it sounds like it's unorganized, I'm out of there. I don't have the patience to stay. My time is, is tight and locked. So I don't stick around and hope that they get through it because um, I'll be really frustrated. So I wanna make sure for me that I have practiced or made sure that I've gotten as much of the kinks out of the way. So what we've done, we've got a practice two and a practice number two page. So we're always trying to, which one are you in? Um, and then we'll go and meet. And we've had Marion's, um, uh, um, Jackie's mom, Marion, come in and do the same thing in our practice page. And that's what we will do with each of our teammates before we actually throw them live ever. So a way to do that is to have a practice page. You can have one or two of your teammates with you, practice and play, go through, mess it up, laugh, have fun. And even if you're live and you mess things up, Oh my gosh, I forgot what I was like, whatever. Just keep going. Yeah, we've done it. We've done that, several, done that several times. Oh, I thought you were getting that one. No, you were supposed to get that one. Oh, whoops, I don't have it. Yeah, move on and you laugh. That it, fact of life. You know what? Nobody's perfect. So, so those kinks are going to happen whether you want them or not. Any questions, you guys can come out of your mutes. You, you don't have to write them in the thing, but if you guys want to write to say something out loud, please. Happy to hear what you guys have to think. Do you positive oh, no, comments? Can't wait to coming. try this. That's awesome. Oh, good. That's good. It'd be so much fun. Yeah. It, nope. it, it, it really is. Like Leslie said, if you have any questions as you're trying to set it up or you don't necessarily have somebody that's gonna work with you and you wanna reach out to one of us, absolutely, we'll be there. I'll call for you in a heartbeat, not a problem. Thank you. I'm really I'm really good on the camera now. I've got it down fast. So keep in mind that when we first started, Jackie said, I'm pretty sure for this next year, I'm not gonna be on the camera at all. I also said I wasn't gonna sell and that didn't last long. <laughs> that's what we all say, Jackie, and then, you know. Next thing you know, you're getting promoted, a little extra money in your pocket, then you've got a car, you know, one thing after the other. Well, yeah. But I do just want to say, I'm not sure if all of you saw my post last night in uh, Team Tupper Witches and Team Witch and Famous, but Jackie with Leslie and with Marion, they did a cooking class for an hour and a half. And these ladies explained this to me a couple of days ago. And I must have not really understood what ha what they were talking about because last night while I was going to bed, I was just scrolling on Facebook and all of a sudden I'm on this video that I, I can't find it anymore. I don't know how I found it, but it was your live. And I'm like, this is an hour and, and 20 minutes long. Like, what is this? And then I realized this was their cooking class, just like the cooking classes that I was paying for two months ago as like a fun date night. It was the exact same thing. They walked you through it step by step. They talked about all the products. They showed you. They went split screen. And I looked at the comments. There was over a hundred comments. I don't know about you, but I don't remember the last time I had over a hundred comments. There was over a hundred and people love this. And then I texted Penny and I go, oh my God. I just stumbled upon this, this video. Did you know that they went live for an hour and a half? And she goes, part of my language, what the fuck? That's incredible. And I said, I know, I know. If you, I, if you saw in the comments, if you saw in the comments, it was only supposed to be an hour long. And we got yeah. to the hour and I said, I'm so sorry. We're supposed to be wrapping this up. And I had a few of like, there was one that said, I, I have no going. place to go. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. Yeah. And it's like, oh. It's amazing. Okay. And I, and it was, I it was actually it. Leslie's part. It was actually one of Leslie's parties that she was doing for yeah, and um, it was one of her customers. Yeah. 
And it's amazing. And I was thinking, so before pre-COVID, my mom used to do a lot of the freezer meal workshops. And I instantly thought when I saw your video, you could do a freezer meal <laughs> workshop party. You can send everybody, all of your guests a list one week before. Tell everybody what you're going to be cooking. They have a week to go grab everything. And just like you would in person, you walk them through step by step how to make these um, these freezer meals, you show yeah. your, your products. It's, there's so many ways that we can work our business. I see people all the time posting online. Oh, it's a short month. I don't have time. I can't do this. I can't do that. At the end of the day, if you want to make it work, if you want to have parties, if you want to get your personal sales and your team sales, there is so many ways to get there. There's this new thing too that's called an unparty that I'm seeing all over Facebook. And it's where you give somebody a link. It's their party link. There's no party. There's no commenting. There's no guest list. But your host sends the link to everybody. And if they get some orders, well, there you go. They've just earned all of the host rewards. But yet they didn't want to commit to a party, but they still earned everything. They worked for you. You didn't work for that. Right. So you're working smarter instead of harder. There's so many ways. And if you ever feel stuck, I just want to say, if you ever feel stuck, like, hey, I'm in a rut, I have four days left and I need $500 in personal retail sales, or I'm not going to be paid as, or I'm not going to get this or get that, reach out. Because just like I saw here, there's so many ideas. I would have never thought about going live for an hour, two hours and things like that but when there's a will there's a way right well, so what what started that what prompted that um when i when i hosted a party for leslie and again no desire to join or do or anything else but of course i i was bored so i ended up doing that but i had people come back to me saying okay well we watched leslie here and then i had a problem finding her and i wasn't sure what i was supposed to do and so then Leslie and I going back and forth, I came up with this, um, we came up with this, let's do it live and just continue as opposed to bouncing in and out, just do it. And we can, you can have somebody else come in and do a demo. It's, and then that's when I reached out to my mom and went, do you want to do a demo? Yes, you're doing a demo. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, You've didn't been really voluntold. No. Voluntold, exactly. But you know what, both Leslie and I have had uh, feedback from it that it was a better format to do, gave them more information. And again, you can reach out to your host, find out what they're interested in or what's on their wish list, and then go to whoever's helping you on your team and say, can you demo this? Can you demo this? Can you demo this? That when Leslie did um, the Zoom one with the MPG, so I take a back seat I do the watching and I like Leslie said I answer people's questions and what have you but I gave feedback to Leslie because as she's cooking with her MPG and I can't the watch faces, the screen no, I can't see the screen she's paying attention to what she's cooking so I'm watching everybody in the screen and as Leslie's cooking they're doing this and trying to like see what's inside it was hilarious but it proved to me that the interest was there the, I want to know, I want to learn that. And people were turning around afterwards going, oh my God, I need one of those. I want one of those. That works really well. And it was just because of how Leslie was doing it. So stretching it out and doing the hour and you think, okay, there's no way I can talk for an hour. Okay, well, I, I thought Jabberjaw uh, was born with it, was hereditary. Um, so I can talk for hours, but you know what? A lot of people can't. So that's why you get other people in. And, and do it as a team. It works so much better when you've got more than just yourself. Now, I'm just going to touch on that too. Like you've said, a lot of people are petrified to go live. And I hate to break yeah. it to you, but the reality is if you're not going live, your business is not going to reach the potential that it has. And I say this because I personally experienced this. For a year and a half, I never understood. I post all the time. I post in my VIP group. I post Tupperware sales and everything. Why doesn't anyone buy from me? Why? Because I didn't show that I use these products too. I didn't mm -hmm. show how to use them. I can show you a, a Power Chef 100 times, 
But if I don't show you how in three pulls you now have tiny, tiny onions, you're not going to buy it, right? And if I don't go live and show you that I'm real and I use this stuff, it's all in my kitchen. My partner uses it. My kids use it. Like my, my dog bowl is, is a Tupperware bowl. Why would you trust me as your Tupperware lady if I don't breathe the brand that I sell? And if you're not comfortable doing that, you're not alone. So many of us aren't comfortable. I have a speech impediment and that held me back for a long time. And even now, every time I go live, there's a little bit of me that, that, that panics. And then I realized, you know what? How many of my party guests are going to be in the same boat where they have something that holds them back, but yet they see somebody else is going there, and they're doing it. And if you're not aware, Top of the Line hosts three times a week on Sundays, sometimes even more, the webinars. If you are not somebody who's comfortable going live, you need to demo in the webinar. The only people really who go it's on are top of the line. Them. <laughs> yes, I will admit for us Ontario peeps, sometimes they are a little late in the evening ones, but the majority of the people who are on there are top of the line members. So they're people just like you. There is a, a couple customers here and there, but when there's 10 of you on a demo and you're on there for five minutes and you see everybody, they have things that happen too. My demo, my first one was, I was making um, the whipped cream in the Power Chef. Well, I've never made whipped cream before and I didn't know that whipped cream has to be chilled right before you make it. So I had it on the counter for about an hour and a half prior <laughs> to my demo and I'm pulling and pulling and I'm like, sorry guys, I don't know why this doesn't work. And I'm like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. And then somebody tells me about an hour after, yeah, it, it probably didn't work because it's not cold. Like if I knew that, right? But it happened. Everybody was out in there. There was 40 people. I was devastated, but hey, nobody's brought it up since. I haven't been picked on for it. Like it happens. People, I know somebody who they, they had a leak in their upstairs plumbing and behind them, the roof, like their, their ceiling gave out and it was just a blast of water. Shit happens. Okay. We Did all they have keep going? That's going to happen. They go, Might oh, happen. sorry guys. We're just going to have to go next. Exactly. It's Might life. Happen. Yeah. If your kids come in and they, and they take over the show, Hey, you're probably not the first one. So if you need experience, <laughs> practice with that. And one thing that I did too, is I practiced with my little sister who is, she was seven at the time. And after the 20th try, she goes, why are you still doing this? It's so easy. And I'm thinking, oh, if you think it's easy and you're not telling me I'm doing a bad job, maybe I'm not so bad at this, right? Yeah. Like it's, and after you do it four, five, six times, it gets easier. I, I, I did a live last night and I, I got off and I realized, holy crap, that's the best live I've ever had. I didn't have any nerves. Everything flowed and I felt comfortable. For the first time, I truly felt comfortable. And it's because I tried. I kept on trying. When I had an issue, yeah. I did it again. I just kept going. I just pulled through. Right? I also so, do lives. I do lives all the time in my VIP group, like even just little short teeny ones, just to mm -hmm. get the practice in and to learn what angles. And another um, something to add on to that is if you're really nervous, so you don't really, you don't want to engage or look at the screen because that can be uh, a challenging um, process on its own if you don't know how to do it. You have the, the camera to the side of you. So they're just seeing the product, just seeing your hands, just seeing what's going on. I think a lot of people, I screw up all the time and I have more friends calling me later saying, oh my God, did it actually work out? What is that thing that you were using? <laughs> so like screw up on, on all those things. It's That's fine. People like, it happens to people too. Like I've dropped a whole... Uh, uh, plate onto the floor and oops okay the dogs really liked it <laughs> so it must have been good but yeah little tiny lives too is a good idea to start with little tiny lives like short lives on your page yeah. and and just go from there yep yeah sometimes though that first push of the button is the hardest one and so that's why we're trying to offer the opportunity to go in and practice amongst the safety of your team for some of our teammates so um, just keeping that in mind that if you know you've got somebody who you think would be amazing, 
offer them other opportunities besides the actual true live um, to go and practice in the comfort of, you know, um, a zone. Yeah, um, it's like is I another saw Kim, opportunity. Kim yesterday, or maybe the, the day before, was having a party. And it was her first time going live. And she was really nervous. And Michelle said, hey, Kim, why don't you invite me to your party page? And I'll look over it. And if I see anything that I think could help you out, I'll let you know. And it was just teamwork. Michelle yeah. knew that she doesn't benefit from this. Yeah. But in a way, we do. Because when we help our teammates, it'll come full circle. And one day, they're going to come and help us. And that's just, it just keeps going in circles. You scratch yeah. my back, I'm going to scratch yours. You need me today, I might not need you for 10 months. But when I need you, you're going to be there for me, right? So yeah. we're all here for our team. At the end of the day, there's no us without a team. Just like there's yeah. no you without a customer base, you without a family. It's all about being a team. So, yeah. So sure. I don't know if anybody has anything else. I don't want to um, hold up everybody, but I wanted to make sure that everybody had a chance to offer any more questions or any more. I mean, this has turned into a really great discussion. Um, thank and, you, Bailey, um, for the prizes. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank so you ladies, much, for hosting. Bailey. This is amazing. And um, I have this. recorded the session, so I will actually put cool. it on the, in the comments. I'll load it onto my... Um, a YouTube page so that there's an actual location where you guys can access and be able to watch it or your team can share and watch it um, okay. and um, be able to slow it down, kind of, you know, catch whatever or get those links. I'll also make sure there's live links of the three that I included in the PowerPoint thing. I will actually show the PowerPoint um, as well. I'll have a link to just the PowerPoint folder or file. That also has the list of all the uh, words yeah. and stuff that we've come up with but again make sure you make it your own and use whatever you have to and if you come up with questions after this is all done reach out to to leslie or myself we're, we're happy to help you with whatever you need so thanks everybody for joining us tonight thank you and uh yeah Woohoo! give us um can you guys post in um tougher witches and witches and famous and let everybody know and if you learn something fun or new, let them know. Or if you think they should actually get back and watch the video when it's in the comment section, let them know. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Good night.